so we have the Crunch Bar, brought to you by Bernie Carriotto, Seth Phillips, and me, Alan Gray. All right, so imagine you're about to do your workout, you're about to do some serious crunches, and you don't have anywhere to put your feet. You can't find anywhere to hold, anywhere, hold, to hold your feet, and nobody will help you. Um, the Crunch Bar can fix it. What happens is you're going to slide your feet into the holes, and it holds down your feet so that you can continue your workout. All right? Um, one size fits all, and it's uh, available in different colors. And also, um, it offers uh, almost complete uh, disassembly, so you can put it up and then bring it back out pretty easily. Okay, so uh, the main body is made from an ABS plastic, uh, and it's going to be about $70 in material. Uh, the top portion is made of cast iron, which is going to be uh, roughly th uh, 36 pounds of it. Uh, so it's seven uh, seven fifty in cast iron. So it's seventy seven dollars in material and an additional hundred in shipping costs. We're looking to sell this at around two twenty plus shipping. All right. Um, the reason why it is so expensive is because although it can hold your feet, it can also be uh, a dumbbell. You can remove the component that holds that actually provides the weight to hold down your feet, and you can lift with it. It comes with different size weights. Um, the other options, uh, there are currently other options on the market. Um, several different types of machines only offering the ability to do sit-ups, uh, not upper body. Um, other machines are just as expensive and much bigger in design. Ours are smaller and you can collapse it. Um, the benefits, um, it is much more, it's much more unique and uh, it benefits the uh, competitors, or many other benefits that competitors don't all have. have or they're not around the same time, sorry. All right. All right, so, well, here's our Facebook page that we have created for the Crunch Bar. Uh, it's, uh, we're currently uh, getting more likes every day and uh, growing the business. Looks like we have 7.3 million likes. <laughs> All right, so here's the uh, the design of the whole thing. We have your main base, check right here, and then you have a uh, the dumbbell itself, which right here, as you can see, uh, there's the dumbbell, and these clamps right here are are able to remove so that you can use this as your weight. All right, we have the weight holder. It holds up the, uh, the support, or it supports the uh, weight itself, and the weight stand. This is what the dumbbell, actually, the bar sits on. Uh, these are what you can remove so that you can use the bar as a dumbbell. Uh, these are the uh, clamps to uh, keep the dumbbell in place, and uh, the weights which you can place on either side uh, if you need more or less. Um, the plan is to have these uh, screwed on. You can screw them on and then you can screw them back off and we have different sizes. You start off with five pounds. Uh, this is the weight bar. It's about how much? How much? About, yeah, 15 pounds. This is a little pin that um, it actually secures. If we had the piece that it will right here, and you can adjust it in different sizes. All right, any questions? Yes. How heavy will the product itself be without the weight on top? Uh, without the dumbbell or the yes. The main body is about 50 pounds in plastic. Why would you need the dumb? the weight then to keep your feet down? It's just an additional uh, tool for exercising. You, it allows you to do upper body workouts, stuff you want to. And a lot of times 50 pounds isn't going to hold. Mm -hmm. <coughs>
So, um, how big is the product actually in size? Is that scaled uh, down? Yeah, that's, that's definitely scaled down. In size, was it? Uh, uh, the product's about two feet long and a foot thick and a foot high. Uh, and then the weight stand is an additional six inches, but that can be raised or lowered depending on a few of the uh, bigger weights to fit on top. And, uh, Hold on for a second. Um, we are also um, looking at designing a, a holder for like your iPhone or your iPod, so that while you're doing your workouts, you can listen to your music. Yeah. How big a space is there going to be for your feet? Like you said, one size fits all. What size is that? Uh, these are about five inches uh, long and about three or four inches high. Are they going to only hold the front of your foot there instead of like the whole foot? Uh, it's going to be more towards like the uh, ankle, and it goes down at an angle so that it's more to the shape of the person's foot. Any more questions? So the thing that holds your foot's plastic, but you're putting all the metal and the heavy stuff on top? Yes, because the plastic is Wouldn't that make it a little top heavy, though? I'm pretty sure. The plastic is much cheaper, and if we were to go with metal on as the base, it would be the... Way more expensive. Do you have lawyers? Lawyers? You're gonna need them if it's not that heavy. It's not gonna be, it's not really that heavy. Well, your feet are gonna be pulling up on underneath it though. When you do the, it's a little bit flip it. <coughs> I just, I, I just, alright. What is the um, age group for this? Um, we, more towards like uh, high school to college, because that, that age where you want to start working out more. Uh, we're also looking and maybe selling it to gyms if they need additional uh, workout equipment. I actually have two more questions. Um, what if, so this is for both female and male, correct? Yes. What if some females have like itty bitty feet and they keep slipping out? What happens then? Um, we're actually trying to get a strap for this so that we can actually, so you can actually strap your foot in so it's more secure. What do you have for people who have amputated feet? They don't need to be doing front <laughs> I mean, if they have one foot that's amputated. Well, as of right now, we don't have a design that has been put under consideration. We are actually trying to design a product for that. Yes. Where would this be located? Uh, this would be located, you could get it at a store or you can specially order it because you can get it in, as I said for different colors, so you can customize it. So we can sell it at Walmart and just different places like that. Yes. You said it collapses, like, is that for storage or uh, is it folding? It, it doesn't, like, it, you can take it apart. You can, it has multiple pieces that you can take apart and it, so yeah, it is for storage. What's going to happen if you want to take it with you on like a trip or something and it doesn't fit in your trunk? Have you made it like... Um, or if it doesn't fit? Uh, the size of it currently should be able to fit in most cars trunks. Alright, any more questions? Alright.